Hello, my name is David David Okonkwo, and it is wonderful that you are able to join us today. Thank you and welcome. Today, in continuing with that experiences of the early church, Paul, in his suffering, teaches us what it means to believe and trust in God, how you've been beat up physically, accursed and rejected by some people. Are you suffering in your relationships because of your belief and trust in God? You are not alone. Even when there is no one to support you, hold on. Paul held on after being stoned to death, their thought. But through it all, he remained dead until he was surrounded by his friends and co-workers in the vineyard. He got up and continued threatening. He continued on the mission. His eyes were set on the big picture, so we are. We are to set our eyes on the big picture. You know, when little or big things block your way to make moving on difficult or almost impossible, do not blink from the big picture. Keep your eye on the ball. The psalmist says, where will my help come from? And he says that my help will come from the name of the Lord. So when things become rough, don't forget, your help will come from the name of the Lord. When it seems as there is no one else, there is. Your help will come from the name of the Lord. Jesus says, do not let your heart be troubled. Did I not tell you I got your back? Only if you can believe and trust in the Lord. Jesus says, my peace I give you. Hold on to my peace, for my peace I give you, my peace is yours. When life is upside down, hold on to my peace. When things are not working out, hold on to my peace. Bring your troubles to me and take on my cross. And since you have trusted in me, take on my peace, for I am with you always. Let us pray. Heavenly Almighty God, May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord and my all flesh bless his holy name but now and forever. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discuss of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. For you are a worthy God. Grant peace, O Lord, to your people and to your world. May your peace reign in the hearts of the leaders of this world and those surrounding them. May those without be given and may, and may they find their voice in the mouths of the leaders. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.